It's the season of the pizza, the fly, and the cousins. Let's look at the meaning behind the title of each Breaking Bad episode in season three. I couldn't resist a funny Better Call Saul spoiler, so skip over episodes five and ten if you want to avoid it. I'm done. No mas is Spanish for no more. It mostly refers to Walt wanting to get out of the meth business, but it also applies to Skylar saying no more to their marriage. Grant me this divorce and stay out of our lives. No, Skylar. I mean it. And Jesse's decision to say no to drugs. I'm done using. This is Spanish for home. The song reflecting Walt's loneliness. The band who sings this is America. This is America, okay? Saul also joins in on the horse theme. Back on the horse and do what you do best. Walt sings the title song again in the shower, inadvertently serenading Mike and the twins. It's me. There's something you should know about. In retrospect, this episode should have been called Venezia, or Dipping Sticks. I was today years old when I learned that IFT stands for. I thought dead. Did you already know this? Let me know in the comments. Walt thought he got a green light from Carmen. But it was just a green blouse. Walt, what's wrong with you? Hank wants his boss to give him the green light to continue searching for Heisenberg. I'm really close to something big here. Better get to it then. But most importantly, Gus greenlights a deal with Jesse. Do the deal. Which gets Walt involved again while at a literal green light. From no moss to moss. In a reversal from episode one, Walt is back for more business with Gus. What is this? Your new lab. We'll for a moment. Hank keeps searching for more RVs. Check out a couple more, then we're gonna call in the morning. And more is said a bunch more times. One more RV. His product was more or less consistent with the quality I'd come to expect. More or less? How's about we run through this thing one more time? Quando by. Gus meets the cousins at sunset, triggering his transitions lenses. Also while the sun is setting, the figurative sun has set on the RV, with darker times ahead for Walt and Jesse. We got our first one minute at the beginning of the episode, and one from Skylar, but the main one is Gus's call to Hank. And I'll get the gag jag off. Who is this? What's cool is that after Gus hangs up, over a minute of real time elapses in the episode before the cousins arrive. Hank and Lionel are rushed to the ICU. Get it? Lionel says, I see you, to Walt in his own scary, silent way. Gus sees Walt at the hospital as well. Wow, thank you, Mr. Free. This episode is full of people not knowing what Kafkaesque means. Sounds kind of Kafkaesque. I'm not gonna lie, I had to look it up. Yeah. Totally Kafkaesque. It refers to the nightmarish qualities of Franz Kafka's stories. Hey, Julie. I gotta pay taxes now? What the hell's up with that? This messed up, you know, this Kafkaesque. Kafka's most famous story, The Metamorphosis, Church. is about a man who wakes up as a big insect, which leads to the next episode. What kind of contaminant are we dealing with here? Fly. Fly, like, like, what do you mean? I mean, a fly. Hey, what was the bang? It was meal. This polarizing bottle episode was conceived because season three was way over budget, and filming in one location with fewer actors is a lot cheaper. In fact, this is the only episode without a Skylar appearance. I like this episode, although knowing it was driven by budget reasons takes away from its artistic statement a bit. Yeah! Oh, zap! Somebody got Yo. ABQ seems like it's just another way of saying ABQ, but it's actually a New Mexico City where Georgia O'Keeffe lived. And this episode starts with a flashback to Jesse and Jane's trip to the Georgia O'Keeffe Museum. I chose a half measure. When I should have gone all the way. No more half measures, Walter. After that speech, Walt takes a full measure and kills two of Gus's dealers to save Jesse's life. You said no half measures. Funny how words can be so open to interpretation. Then Walt plans another full measure. You know what we do. You don't have to do this. Mike tries to take a full measure of his own. Yeah, unfortunately I do, Walt. But Walt outsmarts him. You'll have about a 20 minute lead. They've got me at the laundry and they're going to kill me. Jesse, do it now! Son do it, bitch! Do it! Do it, Jesse! What the hell was that? Exactly. You might want to hold off. Yeah? Why? Because your boss is gonna need me. 6353 Juan Tabo, apartment six. <laughs> yeah. 
Hey, you know it's weird? It's been three days since the last subscriber. Yeah, well, people lose interest. Oh. That's not true. I've really appreciated all of your likes, comments, and subscribing. Keep it coming. I have something special in mind after reaching a thousand subscribers, so stay tuned.